Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Panthers Bill Series. Now, my name is LaShawn Panton, otherwise known as Panthers. We're building my first project car. Big deal for me, but <laughs> anyways, there's a lot to get into, a lot to dive into. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the videos, make sure you comment as well. Let's get into it. <laughs> First things first, there are many different motorsports disciplines in the in the world and that's so like you know you have drag, rally, drifting, circuit racing and I think that's basically it. Apart from like if you're going to like a street build. But my reason for buying this, if you know me, if you've been following up the type of videos that I shoot, especially on this channel, then you probably have a general idea or what I plan to do with it. If you guess right, I am building my first drift car. So, why drifting? My introduction to motorsports was actually at, at a drift event and that was I think all the way in 2012, 2011, thereabouts. For those of you who know Kota Hype, um, very talented driver, I went to my first Drift event, Pines Plaza, Junction, St. Elizabeth, and I was just hooked from that time. For one of myself, it's just always cars ever since from day one. So, so alright. My introduction, or how, not introduction, how can I get into motorsports? Now, without, without going even in depth, everybody says the same thing motorsports is expensive. Yes, it is expensive, but how I look at it is whatever you want to get done in your life, whatever is important, you're always going to find a way. So that's the art. I have a talent, which is being a creative, you know, filmmaking, photography, graphic design, that type of thing. So what I did is use that channel to get into motorsports by capturing motorsports events. So I have a business out of this which most of you might know which is separate and apart but you know the YouTube channel is geared mostly towards automotive content now my first time shooting a car was I think three years ago I started doing automotive features and loving cars and matching the passion of photography and filmmaking it's just the best of ours so it's alright so I am literally on the other side of motorsports, which is capturing it. Now, I've actually been wanting to do this for probably like three or four years now. And every time I go to an automotive event, that's in the back of my head, just a thought. Have to get a car, have to get a car, you know. But nothing happens before it's time. Uh, we definitely have to do what we can manage. This vehicle wasn't supposed to be purchased until about next month, December. But opportunity presented itself and in life sometimes things are not going to always line up exactly what you want it to. Sometimes you just have to start and just jump at it. So drifting is going to be fun. It is going to be new. I've never drifted a car before, but I've been in drift cars because I have friends who actually do this thing which is also another reason for the influence um, of, of getting a, my own drift car so that's the whole reason for building this I also want to compete with it locally so we have to get it to a level first make sure it's driving you know I can't drive standard but I'm rusty I'm mean, never ever said that but I need to get used to driving a manual vehicle again and then we can dive into learning how to drift, getting good at it and just seeing just see where, where it carries me, you know? So why BMW E36? Now, when you get into drifting specifically, not motor racing, drifting you want a rear wheel drive vehicle, preferably the reason for that is when the power is on the back wheels it's pushing the vehicle forward a front wheel drive vehicle would not work because when a vehicle brakes traction, you want the power to push the vehicle forward. So while those wheels are spinning, you are steering the front wheels, which doesn't have any power, 
Look at it almost like a bicycle. A bicycle would be where you drive. The chain is connected to the back wheel. You pedal, you should be the power. And in the front wheel, you just steering. Alright? Some other examples would be some other examples of vehicles would be Nissan 350Z, BMW E46 or 36, Toyota Alteza, Mazda Miata, just to name a few. But why I chose BMW specifically, I've always been a BMW person. Love BMWs, love to see how they look. Originally, I wanted to buy a BMW E30, which was a generation before the E36. Still 3 series, but just an older vehicle. Now, when I was looking at parts availability, price, they are getting harder to find, which means that the demand is also higher, which means it's more expensive. Whatever in life, you have a budget. That's just facts. So, BMW, love how them look. In terms of functionality now, BMW makes their vehicles from factory with a 50-50 weight distribution, which is perfect for drifting. The more balance you have the weight right throughout the vehicle, front and back, is the easier it is, especially when you're learning. You don't want a vehicle that is front heavy or rear heavy. So transitioning into the specific plans that I have for my BMW E36 build. Now, it's a 1996 BMW 318i. It comes with a BMW M43 B18, which is just means 1.8 liter. All right. So firstly, no, not that much power. Things are only 114 horsepower, which is not ideal for drifting. Yes, we're not talking about big power like a thousand or 600, but we have to start with at least 200 horsepower or 250. All right. So um. In terms of this build now, we're supposed to be getting a new engine soon. I think by the end of this video you probably see that. Because we're supposed to be picking up one today. But anyways, continue. <laughs> so we're going to be building this vehicle as light as possible. So I've already got to the interior, stage one. Stage two is going to be removing sound ending, heater core, the scene where else we can make the we can light up, try and shed some pounds, get a new engine, run stock power, have bucket seats. Yeah, and just make it look good. In terms of timeline for the build. So we're looking at 2025, early 2025. Not sure when specifically estimated. If things line up perfectly, I would say April, February, April or next year. But you know how builds can go. You can spiral out of control in a good way or in the bad way, which you don't want. But the build can also be finished ahead of schedule and it can take longer. But most importantly, we're not giving up. We're going to be working hard. I'm carrying you guys along for the journey. And we're just going to make memories and just go, go, go on the journey together. So you can look out for that. Once again, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support, for getting us to this level. We have a far way to go. You're probably wondering, oh, how much further can we go? But you have to subscribe, you have to stay tuned, you have to follow up the channel. Alright, so we have an engine for go pick up. I'm not going to, to stay any longer right now. So remember, like, share, subscribe, comment. I'm Leshawn Panton, otherwise known as Pantas. See you later.
will take you out one time. What happened? Huh? What do you? Oh. I thought that I'm um, digging this. Me, I can't see that. I don't even know. 